Hey Facebook friends and YouTube, I'm going to sing the song Hosanna. This is like one of the most anointed, for sure, worship songs ever. And if you're looking for awesome worship music, um, just Google Hillsong, Hillsong United, Hillsong Young and Free. They're all amazing. Um, I actually went out to Australia like seven years ago. And I was planning on going to the Hillsong College, but I didn't because the money I had ran out faster than I thought it would. But... Hillsong is amazing. So anyways, I pray this song will really touch you all and bless you all. And I hope you will feel God's presence um, as I sing it. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Praise God. God loves you with an everlasting love. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. Praise God. Lavished. He has lavished his love on you. That means he's like poured it out, like dumped a bucket over you of like tons and tons of love. You know, the water from the Holy Spirit. Just feel it like drench you right now. Feel the Holy Spirit just drench you and give you some water to drink. Yes. I see the King of Glory coming on the clouds with fire. He will come. Oh. Mm -hmm. The whole earth shakes. The whole earth shakes. He's coming. Get ready. Get ready. Turn or burn, people. <laughs> Seriously, he's coming, okay? You need to be ready. Amen. I see his love and mercy. Washing over all our sins, the people sing, the people sing, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest, praise God, Hosanna, Hosanna. Praise God. Praise God because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And God loves you. Yes. I see a generation. Yeah. Rising up to take their place. With selfless faith. With selfless faith. I see near revival. I see revival come in. Stirring as we pray and seek. We're on our knees. We're on our knees. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Come down, Hosanna. Come down here. Yes. <laughs> Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Praise God. Jesus and God fill the earth. Where can you go from God's presence? Nowhere. If you go to the depths of the sea, he is still there. If you rise on the wings of the heaven, he is still there. You can't get away from God. You can't hide from God. He is everywhere. You think God doesn't see you? He sees you. He sees what you're doing for good or for bad. He sees you. Break my heart full. Oh, heal my heart and make it clean. Yes. Open up my eyes to the things unseen. Show me how to love like you. Have loved me. Yes, he who has forgiven much loves much. Amen. Break my heart for what breaks yours. Yes, God. Everything I am for your kingdom's cause. As I walk from earth into 
Eternity. Yes. Walk into eternity. Just, you can already be there, okay? You can have heaven on earth. I tell you what. You can. You just have fellowship with God every day. You can have heaven on earth. Just believe it. Yes. Praise God. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Yes, God. Hosanna. Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Praise God. So even though God is high up in the sky, in the air, he's all around us. And he loves you and he sees you and he forgives you for anything that you have done, okay? The Bible says, if you confess your sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. All you have to do is confess. What does it mean to confess? It means saying, God, I know that what I did was wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Or at least I will do the very best I can to not do that again with your power because I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and I am more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. Amen. Praise God. And if you do stumble, we all stumble every day. I mean, I probably lose my temper with my kids at least every other day and I feel convicted about that. Nobody was a, nobody is without sin. You know, he who is without sin casts the first stone. Everybody has some sin. You know, you have to but you have to acknowledge that and you have to like confess it and you know really feel remorse about it and really be determined that you're going to try your best to not do that thing anymore. You know, if you're really repentant, that's how you're going to feel about it. Like, God, I'm really sorry about that. I'm really going to try and not do that again. You know, <sighs> so you need to come to that place, you know, and just know that, you know, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, God loves you and he accepts you. And you can have a relationship with him. You just have to believe it. You know, all things are possible to those who believe. Praise God. So God loves you all. Have a great day. God bless.